Yeah. Okay, folks, we're fixing to go live and direct. We ready? Yes, sir. Yeah, we are live and direct. Call to order. Okay. Roll call. <laughs> Two, three, four. We're here to go. <laughs> okay, all right. Okay, now we're looking at our May minutes. Did anyone have time to go over that? Carol, entertain a motion to approve. I'll second. Has been made and seconded. All in favor, say aye. Aye. All opposed? All right. Huh? <laughs> motion you approve this Well, do it. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Do we have any uh, funding events? Please. Hello. Hi. Welcome. Thank you, thank you. Um, so I did, I produced the Enchanted event back at the end of April and just wanted to kind of let you know how it went. We had about 525 attendees and uh, most were from the, the general area, Conway, Little Rock, uh, Bologna, all of that. We had uh, quite a few vendors that came from out of state, so Texas, Oklahoma, Missouri, like all, all of the surrounding states, we have vendors come in for that. Um, and uh, ended up raising $1,300 for animal um, welfare and adopting out 11 dogs and cats that day as well. It's a wonderful so, thing. Yeah, we That's had a good time. Thing. All right. Well, thanks for the portal. Well done. Okay. <laughs> You have financial information. I think that's you. A little paper clip back here. This is our balance sheet income statement, interior income statement, and general ledger in both account reconciliations. For those of you that in here. Um, Balances in our accounts are operating account one million two hundred fifty four thousand four seventy four oh two, and our collections account nine hundred ninety nine thousand forty one dollars and fifty two cents. For the third page, two year income statement. <laughs> <laughs> the third page in this packet right here. You see a two-year comparative income statement. And for the month of May 31, 2023, uh, we were in the black 76,901.69. Uh, current month last year, we were in the red 4,709.53. For the year to date, we are in the black 250,532.87 as opposed to 2022 at this same month, um, 168,569.01. And of this packet is just backup proof. The general ledger is all the checks and journal entries that were done, and then the account reconciliations are just for both accounts and how we come up with the balance in the account. Register page. Obviously, having a good year. Over last year. Are there any questions about the financial? Chair yeah, would like to have a motion to accept. Yes. We have a second. 
motion has been made and second that we accept the uh, financial. All in favor, say aye. 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 All aye. opposed, nay. Aye. You'll have to do a long piece of paper. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. Um, piece of paper right here. Sell financials. Just a breakdown of our actual collections. Oh, Sheila, here you go. Okay. Long piece of paper. Uh, the first two pages are just our total collections. Well, in the allocation to the city and the AMP commission, um, city gets eighty-seven point five percent. Um, of food collections and AMP gets twelve point five percent of food collections and one hundred percent of motel tax collection. And it's broken down into the amount of the checks on the second page plus expenses. And now we're going to be going to the uh, long sheet of paper, wide. Go to the third page. It's our total collections. Our total collections for May of 2023 were 543,227.89, which is up over uh, May of 2022 by 51,823.87, which is a 9.54% uh, increase and then up over May of 2021 by 105,909.41, which is a 19.5% increase. Go to the fourth page is delinquent collections. We collected $18,039.56 in delinquent food tax and $5,089.69 in motel tax, totaling $23,129.25, um, which is almost, other than March, most of the year, and that consists of 2.85%. Um, the fifth page is collections excluding delinquents, which totaled five hundred twenty thousand ninety-eight dollars and sixty-four cents, which is up over May of twenty twenty-three by sixty-two thousand six hundred five fifty-seven, and that is a twelve point oh four percent increase. Job and collection. It is for sure. Last page is the. Pay simple payments, which are still climbing up close to 50% like Andy wants. Total 242,354.99, which is 44.61% of collection. As opposed to last year of 30,922.81. I did send a reminder to hotels and restaurants about pay simple over the past month. So oh, maybe it got someone else to pay that way. Next up, we got the other long piece of paper that's colored that is this delinquent list. Yeah, okay, all right. <laughs> Our 
Pickles. Nobody knew. No, and the fact that we don't have any that's good. Well, now that so it's uh, like that's looking better each month. This joyful baking. I'm assuming we, of course, it's in the 90 days now. It's definitely not a big amount by any means. Where is joyful or what is joyful baking? I'm about to look it up. Is it the food truck? Yeah. Oh, oh are they okay. the macaroon place? Mm -hmm. They're only, yes. They're only here like once a month or something. I think they take pre-orders maybe. And they park on Oak Street, like in the old colony shop parking lot. Typically when I've seen them. Well, that's what I was gonna say, yeah. I mean, like I said, it's definitely not a big amount by any means, but it seems like somehow they need to get the message. So, but of course, like you said, if they're only here basically one day a month or something like that. That's yeah. kind of hard to figure out what day they're going to be there. To, yeah. Oh, of course. Yeah. And of course, we've got a few on the 30 day. We're into quite a bit of the month, so with this meeting today being on the 12th, it's not like it's right at the first part of the month either. Have a recommendation? I will go ahead and make a recommendation for our usual um, 30, 60, and 90 day. Um, Actions. I have a second. In May and second, all in favor say aye. 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 Those nay. I'm Miss Shaw. We're ready for you. All right. Because I'm not through here. Zipping right through things this month. Um, Jamie and I were talking earlier today and decided this past month might have been one of the busiest months of just full on work that we've done in the last several years, probably as far as CVB events and things are concerned. Um, we hosted the Weekend of Champions, which required a lot of planning as first year events always do. Hopefully next year is uh, a little bit easier. We have things a little bit more figured out with the way they're going to work, especially the finances. Um, overall, they reported 13,353 tickets sold. Now, if any of you are familiar with any AAA events, then you know how many people have a free pass to get in to any AAA events, any coach, any school board member, any administrator, doesn't matter what school you're from, you can come and go as you please to any AAA event. So we estimate that there were over 15,000 people in attendance um, over the course of those three days. We had uh, 20 championship games played, 40 teams came in, some from Central Arkansas, but a lot from Northwest Arkansas. Um, I know a team from a teeny tiny town in as far south Arkansas as you can go, had their boys and their girls both playing soccer and baseball, or I'm sorry, baseball and softball. And I actually went to that game and the stands were full of people and their games were at 10 a.m. and like 5 p.m. So, you know, those people were in Conway all day and that just worked out really well for us, I would say. Um I did a radio interview to promote the games uh, during the weekend. We 
delivered lots of food to the coaches and volunteers and people working on that, all of which Jill has had to write checks for, um, lots and lots of invoices. So like I said, we're working with UCA and hoping to simplify that process a little bit next year for everyone. Um, let's see. We have also had a lot of Eclipse activity since our last meeting. Um, We've met with UCA, some people from the Chamber, Downtown Partnership, UCA, myself, uh, just talking about what their plans are and how we can all work together. Um, I know the city is working on making sure that parks are available, um, porta potties are available. Um, I know state police are aware of, you know, increased traffic and have plans to regulate that throughout the event. Um, I've spoken to some of our hotel uh, owners, managers, and I think if you go to like a price line right now and you tried to book a hotel room in Conway on the night before the eclipse, it's going to say that they're all booked, but they're really not. Um, so several of our hotels reported to me that they have instituted a three to five day um, length of stay policy, and you could speak to this more than I could, um, obviously have a dramatically increased rate. But because of that extended length of stay requirement, a lot of the rooms are showing up as not available. And it's not because they're already booked. Um, I know another property told us that they were not going to be working with any third party booking sites. They were only taking direct bookings. Um, so Conway still has plenty of hotel rooms available. I think one property told me they had a block of like 15 rooms and that was the biggest block they had at this point. So we still have plenty of rooms, but people are going to have to stay for longer. And so part of what we're doing is working on finding activities to give them while they are here and making that stay more enjoyable. Uh, last week, Kim Williams hosted a downtown partnership meetup. Um, I came and spoke, Amy Whitehead from UCA came and spoke about what they're doing. We showed a presentation on the eclipse that Arkansas Tourism provided just to kind of give everybody a better grasp of what to expect. Um, we'll be asking restaurants and businesses, especially in downtown, to be open on that Sunday night um, because people will be in town and they're going to be needing things to do. So like I said, still working out official details of that, but that's just some of the planning that's going on. Um, I have already contacted a vendor about ordering NASA approved eclipse glasses. Uh, we had discussed ordering a pretty large amount, having some at our office as a visitor center to give out to people in town, um, providing some to our hotels that they have some branded um, eclipse glasses to give out to visitors. Um, and then also we hope to be able to work with, um, elementary and high schools in town and possibly provide glasses to them. They're very cheap, especially when you order in bulk. Um, and so this is on a Monday. It will still be going on at school let out times. So I know UCA has already started talking to, uh, school administrators about, how to best handle that, um, and they're working on a solution for that. Um, let's see, we ran a special, we asked local restaurants to run a special during Weekend of Champions, um, and then posted about that on Facebook and got a good response from the restaurants. Lots of them were willing to offer a, you know, 10, 15, 20% discount to people that came in and said that they were here for the game, so hopefully that was successful for them. Um, now that Weekend of Champions is over, we are moving into All-Star Games, and that is in two weeks, next week. Um, so I've been talking to AAA about that, uh, bringing all the coaches in, and if you all will remember, uh, part of our deal with them was that we were going to give them less money this year than we had in the past, the past 10 years of our relationship with them, um, and then required them to use, I believe, $5,000 of the money they did get to bring in a big speaker that would attract more coaches. So hopefully uh, that all works out the way we want it to. 
Um, let's see. Oh, we have an intern who is a local Conway girl. She just graduated from college, and she is working um, with a couple of different organizations in our building, but helping the CDB do some research projects. She's looking into Meltwater, which is a media monitoring software that we already subscribe to, and she's building out some platforms in there uh, so that we can monitor and uh, review some data that we are already collecting anyway. So that's going to be really helpful. Um, last weekend, I know we had a group of NICA coaches, that's mountain biking, correct, in Conway around 100 or 200. 100. 100 coaches. Um, some of them stayed for two nights, um, and they are mountain bike coaches from all across the state. And so the, we were happy that they came here as opposed to maybe another corner of the state. Um, but I know there was something else you wanted to Yeah, so you'll remember, and you see on the check register, uh, you know, substantial check cut to affordable trail solutions that's kind of in deliverance of the project y'all committed to last year uh the technology park they built a three mile loop um and that will not this coming up season but next season be a host site for a mountain uh, the youth mountain bike race this year we got the coaches conference which was the, the 100 coaches um about half uh spent two nights here to get their all of their annual training and certifications to work with youth in, in that setting. Um, that loop is, I would say it's about 95% completion right now. There have been people out riding it, which is, is good and fine to kind of get it ridden in. Um, if you're kind of an informed user, uh, it hasn't been advertised online or promoted yet because there are, it's, it's not completely uh, signed off and, and marked it's just best kind of if you have some experience having built the trail or you're out there with um, someone familiar with it. But I would say in the next 30 days, we'll kind of make that widely known and promoted and probably have a um, have an opening type event where we'll ask uh, a lot of the teams who were represented by the coaches at the conference who all went out and wrote it and evaluated it, come and participate in that. And so that's our first step towards hosting one of these big events, which is 2,000 or so visitors statewide. Um, you know, our hope would be to host one, you know, annually um, to get that event done. And then we'll continue to host trainings and conferences like what we had. So that's that's starting to, that was a capital outlay, um, which is a little bit different for us, but it's kind of that quality of place and new infrastructure um, that hel is already helping generate some some visits, and then also generating, you know, some of the digital stuff. When that becomes a destination on Strava and some of those types of websites, um, you know, there's there's people who just look for places to practice, train, and ride for fun online. And so we'll kind of have some new inventory out there for visitors. And so, okay, I brought my bike. I'm going to go and tool around here. I'm going to day trip, you know, in from Little Rock. Uh, there's no... There's no other site in central Arkansas to host these large youth mountain bike races. So we're on the map with you. Any questions? Here are some other things that we um, will be able to talk more about, well, after this week, hopefully. So, all right. Thank you, Rachel. Thank you. About Conway Park, you're at. Guys. Mike, I think you're doing great. <laughs> <laughs> we have a few steps up here. We're like, wait, 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 I would second what Rachel said. Uh, June is a busy month. Uh, it's for youth sports. It's kind of the, the pinnacle, really, month. You know, we, we have a few activities in July, your national events, World Series, but all of your state tournaments are generally hosted in June. After school lets out, plus all the teams don't have school to worry about on Monday, so Everybody piles in and plays on June. So with that said, let's talk about a couple of events. On the tennis side, we hosted the USTA League State Championships. That was the first time that we've ever hosted that. Um, had a lot of positive feedback from the USTA on that. Matter of fact, we 
anticipate them scheduling that with us again next year. There was about 150 players um, that signed up for that. Um, on the baseball, softball side of things, uh, the first weekend of June, we had the Highland Dairy Classic. Um, over 120 teams played in that. Um, that's a baseball slash softball event now. This upcoming weekend is USSA All-Star State. And guys, I'll be honest with you, I think that's probably the biggest baseball tournament that we host all year. Uh, you know, it's, it's all the recreational league teams that usually play during the week that come and only play one tournament, uh, you know, a year. So it's not just mom and dad and brother and sister. It's grandma, grandpa. So 120 teams are signed up for that, but there will be a whole lot more spectators um, for this weekend than, than normal. And then next weekend, we have uh, several state tournaments. We'll be hosting 12 AA state and then 14 AAA state in the baseball side of things. The, uh, the 14 AAA state is actually so large, we'll probably have to use Friday night, so it'll actually be a, a three-day event. And then on the fast pitch side of things, we'll be hosting 12, 14, 16, and 18 all open um, divisions. And same thing with that. Several of those divisions will have to start on Friday. Uh, indoor tournaments. Um, hosted a basketball tournament the first weekend in June and have um, one scheduled for the last weekend in June, which will include the USSA All-State Games. And then as far as the Expo Center goes, there's a lot of different things, but the highlights would be the gun show this past weekend. I have American Grappling Federation coming back for a two-day event uh, at the end of the month. Around 300 kids signed up for that. And then next week, we are hosting the annual Arkansas Nurses Conference, which is actually a three-day event. Uh, it's the third year that we've hosted that. And there's around 400 nurses from all over the state that come to that, and that's during the week. So it's a good one, too. Any questions of, of me? Uh, what I noticed on uh, our end of it over here, my place over this weekend, was one of the busiest weekends that we've seen. And I talked to more people from out of state, from Monticello, uh, South Arkansas. You know, they had a big, big, big impact here. But I had people comparing us to other places around the country. And they placed us at the very top of it. We had more to offer, more fields to offer. Our fields were in better shape. And they provide. It was really nice getting to hear so many good things about Conway from our guests coming in. So uh, very, very successful. Right. Conway has everything you're really looking for. You know, you have the, the nice fields. You're centrally located, interstate access. We have good infrastructure, a lot of hotels. Um, good restaurants, so it, it's a good that we're becoming a more and more of a destination location for. Yeah, I did events. have several people calling hotels that couldn't get in. So I agree with what you said. There, there were several. I gave them a check later. Yeah. yeah, we keep in contact we, with them too on what their occupancy is. We know that can never be closed too. Oh, I'll, I'll report one other thing too. So on Friday afternoon, well, actually, it's right around lunchtime. Uh, you know, with that rain that came in this past weekend, uh, Maumel uh, wasn't able to get their fields in working condition. So uh, we were able to kind of help them out, and which was good for us because we picked up even more teams um, by. Being it's a win-win. Mm -hmm. uh, so win those turf fields are continuing to pay off. That's awesome. Thank you. Thank you, Derek. Him, that's not to discuss about uh, your side, the delinquent enforcement. I right, we skipped over that. Sorry about that, Kim. I'm I've been out of order most of my life. Okay, <laughs> so I'm, I'm just glad I'm facing the right direction. So. <laughs> um, yes, the list this time is much smaller, and that makes me happy. That was a good job, job in there. Well, Absolutely. thank you. I will let you all know that we did issue from from the list for May. We issued five citations that we felt like we had just gone as far as, as we could go uh, with them. Hopefully, we removed those off the list. Pardon me? We removed those off the they're, list. They're Part off the list. The conversation okay. that we all had about them because they yeah. were just too delinquent. Anyway, they had just, and some of them didn't owe very much. It was just, couldn't get any any uh, response out of any of them. So that's, that's where we had to go. And we had two uh, trucks show up this month or since we last met that um, did not have permits that we noticed right off the bat and Denise and I were in contact about it we took them a notice and they within a couple of days had their permits 
Oh, so, yeah. 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 So we're always on the lookout for new new people that come in because they don't know sometimes. So that's all I have unless you have any questions for me. Thank right. you. Denise, do we have some permits to talk about? Oh, boy, do we. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, um, we issued nine A&P permits since right. we met last. Wow. Um, Squirrel Service Stations opened another uh, gas station convenience store. That's their second one. Uh, we issued one to Fresh Donuts. That's actually a new owner. They just uh, changed ownership. Uh, Wing Station, new restaurant, out on Day Ward. And we issued uh, A&P permits to five mobile vendors, Chattis, Takiera, Pools, Barbecue and Catering, T&K's, Kettle Corn, Antonio's Philly Style, Italian Ices, and Flavor Container. And we had one short-term rental um, AMP permit issued this time. Right. So that's nine in all. Okay. Do we have any new business? We did not have anything new to add to the agenda this month. Do so. you have anything old? Other than me. Uh, other than me up here. <laughs> 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 all right. Well, we have our three new commissioners. Yes, well, we, we do. And if we don't mind, why don't we? Last month. Yeah, yeah. yeah we they were here last month. They were here last month. Justin, I, I don't think was. So. No, this is my first time here. Justin Balder, I think you'll enjoy working with him. So we had briefly mentioned last month, um, but I did want to touch on it again, putting together a sort of uh, commission orientation just to help the three of you know what's going on so you don't have to sit here in meetings every month for a year. Like poor Mike did, <laughs> trying to just. Today's my first day to get papers right. I don't <laughs> <laughs> trying to figure out what's going on. So I'll email you all, um, and hopefully sometime next month we can just get together and explain how the commission works and what's required of you, which is pretty minimum, um, and let you ask any questions about how the commission works. So. I'll email you though. Okay, folks. Well, time to go entertain a uh, motion to uh, adjourn. So moved. Motion made. Do I have a second? Yeah. Okay. Um, all in favor? Aye. 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 All opposed? Yeah. Thanks for having patience with me today. <laughs> Appreciate it. Good that. job. And it was yeah. true.